We've got some legends from the state of Florida, the playmaker. Michael Irvin is here, Tim Tebow, who led Florida to national championships. Steve Spurrier won national championships as the head coach. And of course, got to have the Seminoles represented. Oh, yeah. have LC <laughs> out here too. <laughs> <laughs> LC, you look at this, you know the importance of football in, in this state from many years gone by. Well, listen, in, 19, in the mid-1950s, there was Florida and the SEC, Miami and Florida State were independence schools. Mm -hmm. The big break for Florida State came in 1958 when Leroy Collins, the governor, forced Florida to play Florida State. And then from then on, it was really good football teams. But remember, there was only three major football teams there in 1950s. And Steve, even after that happened, took a little while for Florida to ascend to the top. Really didn't happen until you took over as head coach. Well, we had always had a lot of good teams. Good teams yeah. uh, we seemed to lose that one game that knocked us out of the conference championship over the years. So finally, I guess starting in 1990, we started winning that one game. Uh, but the Florida, Florida always had good players. But we just couldn't quite get to the top. And then once we got there, we stayed there for quite a while. And then Tim and his guys came in with Urban and uh, got there again. My, my, Tim, I'll ask you something in a second. I want to ask Michael, uh, the, the brand that you, the brotherhood, it's, it's, there's a generation that don't, they can't relate to what you guys had in the 80s and what uh, Butch Davis was able to reestablish early 2000s. What's been missing in your mind? I mean, you know that program better than anybody. Yeah, you know, listen, I, I, and I love what they are doing now. And I, and I think getting Coach Diaz to do what he does, because he, 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 he allows these teams mm -hmm. to be who they are. You've seen him. You see him posting on social media. He yeah. has the guys over all the time. It reminds me a lot of what Coach Johnson used to do. He was always tell us, you guys go and play and have fun. I'll worry about the backlash. That means you can, as long as you're winning, right. it's all good. Right. As long right. as you're winning. But, and I think Diaz is doing some of that. But what we get misrepresented is the swag and all the, the trash talking. But there was obviously a lot of substance to it. What, this, these teams in the last 10 years, they're trying to it, talk, it was but there's no. It, it, you have to yeah. put the work in. There, right. there, there is no getting around that. And I tell people all the time, to them, our hardest games were at practice. Yeah. They were at practice. They were the best games. I mean, we would go at it and, and, and walk off the field. We're still boys. And then come Sunday, that's Sunday fun, or Saturday, that's, yeah. that's fun day. Yeah. You know, game day is the fun day because practice was so hard. And that's the one thing when I'm talking to the team, I try to relate. There's a process to getting the prize. You can't just walk up and take the prize. You have to go earn the prize, mm -hmm. and you earn it with work. I think when you talk about all three schools, though, what's impressive is at one point in time, they changed the game of college yeah. football. Yeah. Coach did it with the fun and gun at Florida with Danny Werfel and everything that he was doing. Y'all did it with your swag and yeah. what you didn't care what people thought. You didn't care what people said. You did what you were going to do. And, and, and I think, you know, FSU did that for a 12-year span with Coach yeah. Bowden when they were, yeah. you know, top four in the country for 10 years in a row or something like Good that. Point. So every single team, they changed how the game was played at a certain time. I think that's what makes Florida football so special. You know, it used to be if you could win the state championship, you're in a really good position to win the national probably championship. Probably the best right. team in the country. Right. And, and that's, right. But that's right. not the way it is. Not, not the anymore. Way it is now. That's because uh, everybody's coming in taking our players. <laughs> that's the are. reality right now. You know, all of those guys coming in. Alabama's still our coming in there. LSU, right. Ohio right. State. They used to get the second, third tier guy. Right. Now they're getting some of the best players right. down in they're, Florida. They're, yes, they are. They're losing some of the best players. But also, a lot of guys are coming into Florida, Florida State, Miami thinking, we're just going to be like the old Gators, like the old Seminoles, right. like the old Canes. No, there's a lot of work that went into to making those great teams, and I think they got to come in with a little bit less ego and more work. Steve, why is this particular rivalry, Miami and Florida, they haven't played a lot, you played in it, why is this rivalry so significant? I think uh, it is significant because we're in state. Yeah. Miami used to be very good now. In the 90s and 80s, I mean, they were top five in the nation all the time. And so the Gators, we want to beat them, and they want to beat us. I think that's what's good about the game. Both teams desperately want to win this one. Your family's crossed over. You know, it, it, we're all in Florida. Somehow, some way, you knew, you, knew, you knew the guys that you were playing against, right. or your family's crossed over, and they were talking trash. So it all got back to each other, and those games just had a certain <laughs> level of hype to it. And I only got to play in it one time, but it was Probably the most trash talk I've ever played in any game I've ever played in. I was going to say, Tim, Tim and Mike, you guys tell the fans, because tonight, for these players, what's different about Miami and Florida 
versus Miami and Florida State. What would they experience tonight? It was new. We didn't get to play all the time. We knew we'd get this one shot to truly be state champs when I was there at Florida, and we had to take advantage of it. If we lost, Miami has the bragging rights. And why do we – we didn't play every year, but we knew that one mattered. And when they came in, there was almost a fight on the Gator head because it was that intense. I expect it to be that intense tonight. Really? Yeah, uh, you, and, you, and, but I, I do believe it is as intense as the Florida State rivalry, you know, because it's still yeah. – it's in state, yeah. and we run up on these guys all the time. I, I, I've always loved this game right here. Miami. But you made your first start against the Gators, right? Yes. It Didn't go the way it, it wanted to, though, start. right? A, I was just a <laughs> freshman, and, and we lost that game. I dropped the pass, and I remember meeting with Coach Johnson afterwards, like, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to start next week. He said, son, I'm going to stick with you one more week, but don't <laughs> disappoint me, and, and it all worked out. That's why Jimmy Johnson's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.